Welcome to the Leadership TKO Podcast, your source of strategies and insight to make you a winning leader. With no further ado, here is your host, Lakeisha McKnight. All right, everybody, Lakeisha McKnight is here. I want to welcome you to, once again, the Leadership TKO podcast. Uh, Lakeisha McKnight is here. This is the podcast, a part of the Leadership TKO uh, radio station and the brand Leadership TKO uh, that's housed under the limited liability company, which is the iLead company. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for tuning in. Uh, Now remember this podcast and remember the company, the iLead company uh, partners up with associations, right? We partner up with associations, with universities, with faith-based groups and small businesses to build winning leaders. And that's what we're here to do. So before we even dive into any content tonight, uh, what I'm going to do is share on our main social media platform that we leverage. uh, And that is Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and share Right. I'm going to go ahead and share. I'm probably going to share on Facebook. There's one group where a lot of women are. And so I'm going to post there. I'm going to also post on my fan page. So bear with me and feel free to share as well. Uh, it's I'm live right now here in Chesapeake, Virginia. It's about 9.02 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this September 6th of 2017. So I once again am going to share inside of a group. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, join me now as I am discussing leadership. Okay, so just posted it inside of a special group on Facebook. And right now I'm going to go ahead and post on my my specific fan page. Okay, so hopefully we'll be good with that. So I'm going to go ahead and type in join okay join me now as I am live discussing leadership okay so I did post there So we should be good. I think that that's good enough for tonight anyway, for the purposes of what we're going to talk about. Uh, And tonight is Winning Leader Wednesday. Winning Leader Wednesday. We also share a little bit about marketing. So I'll probably elaborate, okay? I will elaborate just a tad bit. Okay, just a tad bit uh, about some of the posts that I made regarding marketing. Okay, regarding marketing. Uh, And so let's go ahead and do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invite you right now to connect with me on Facebook to send me a friend request if we're not friends. I would love to connect with you. I know there are so many of you from around the world that is connected to this podcast, the radio station, the brand Leadership TKO. And so I invite you right now to connect with me. Send me a friend request. I want to connect with you, communicate with you and help you to become a winning leader. So let's go ahead and get connected. My fan page uh, and my profile page is somewhat similar uh, in the way that it looks as far as the website address. Okay, so here's the address for my profile. Uh, It's facebook.com forward slash L McKnight speaks. That's L M C K N I G H T. S-P-E-A-K-S. So that URL is going to be placed in the description area once we've completed this live recording, okay? So you want to give me about a half hour to 45 minutes to get that in there after we finish the live recording. My fan page where we can be connected is facebook.com forward slash L McKnight Speaks fan page. So you're going to have the L McKnight speaks. And then what you want to do is add fan page to the end of that so that we can connect on the fan page. So hopefully we're good, 
right? We're good and we're connected. So I appreciate you for getting connected. Look forward to getting to know you and helping you to grow. And you're, of course, in exchange, going to help me to grow as well as winning leaders. So thank you so much for getting connected. So here is what we are going to do, right? We're going to talk about being an effective leader. That has been the message all day. Being an effective leader, not just an ordinary leader, but an effective one. You see, there's a difference and some people don't believe that there's a difference, but I truly believe that there is a difference. Okay, there is a difference between being just a regular leader, occupying a position, right? And then being one that is effective. So I'm going to share with you right now, what does it mean to be effective? What does it mean to be effective? Okay, here we go. Here's what effective means. Successful in producing a desired or intended result. Let me say that one more time. Effective means successful in producing a desired or intended result. Or here's another way of saying it. Fulfilling a specified function. In fact, though not formally acknowledged as such. So fulfilling, okay, fulfilling a specified function, in fact, though not formally acknowledged as such, or successful in producing a desired or intended result. So that's what effective means. So leaders who are effective produce desired or intended results results. They produce, they produce, they produce. So let me just sit back. I don't want to ask a really, really important question to you in this season of your life, right? Whether you're in the corporate world, whether you're a stay at home mom, you know, whether you're an entrepreneur, do you believe that you are being effective in your life as a leader? Do you believe This is a heart to heart question. It's important because only really you and God would know the answer to that. And then think about what are some things that you need to be doing in this season to be more effective? What is it that you think you need to do? And and sometimes you might need help from a mentor or you may need help from a coach to kind of guide you as to how to become a more effective leader. Let me pause a bit because I see some ladies who are listening in live and I want to acknowledge the live ladies on the platform. You see, we're leveraging the Spreaker platform. We appreciate those of you who tune in on the platform. And also keep in mind that if you do have an Android phone, if you go to the Google Play store, you can look up Leadership TKO and put in Spreaker. So look up Leadership TKO Spreaker and the Leadership TKO app is going to is going to pull up. You can download the Leadership TKO app for free. Okay, absolutely free. So I want to acknowledge Regina Mixon. Regina Mixon all the way in California uh, is listening in tonight. So we appreciate you, Regina, for being on the platform. And of course, our trooper Janine Harrett Brown is on the platform as well. So ladies, we thank you so much for being here on tonight and listening in and being active. Appreciate you much. All right. So once again, check. We have to do an effectiveness check because here's the deal. Your your leadership ability is going to determine how effective you are as a leader. Okay, my 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 mentor calls this the law of the lid. Okay, your ability to be successful in business and to be successful as a mom, to be effective as, you know, a wife, it's really determined by your leadership ability. How well can you lead? And it really starts with your ability to lead yourself. Because if you can't lead yourself well, please do not expect, and I'm saying this in the nicest way, to be able to lead your children, lead in church or any type of religious setting, to be able to lead in an organization or association or lead a business well. And you see, it's important. And we all fall short at at certain times in our lives. I've fallen short. Many people, we, we, because we're not supernatural. We're not God to the point where we're perfect. 
Okay. But we have to work on this every single day to be more effective, be intentional. You see, I have my little blue book. It's not a black book, right? I have my little blue book where I jot down notes and I prepare myself before meetings happen so that I'm able to push forward and deliver results. If I don't have this book, it will be hard. If I did not have my calendar, it's going to be hard for me to be effective and produce results. I probably wouldn't be here I probably wouldn't be here on this platform on time if I wasn't intentional about what it is that I wanted to share. And so this is important as leaders to move from just being an ordinary leader to a great leader. It is my desire, and I'm I'm quite sure it's God's desire for you to be an effective leader. To be a great leader. As Jim Collins would probably say it, move from good to great. And so we have to be intentional, plan it out. What are some things that you feel you need to do to be more effective? All right. So I encourage you to read the entire blog article. I wrote a couple of things. We talked about how you have to admit your mistakes when you're wrong, right? Because leaders, we're not perfect by far. Mothers are not perfect. Wives are not perfect. BFFs are not perfect, right? Best friends are not perfect, And so we have to (laughs) admit our wrong, admit our our flaws, right? And try to get it right. Be intentional about trying to be and get it correct. Admit it, own up to it, and be able to move forward. Don't dwell and be sorrowful. You know, hey, if you made a mistake and it involved another person, apologize. Admit that you're wrong. Admit that you're wrong and then make it right. Make it right. Okay. So that's really what I want to share. And I encourage you, even after we finish this live uh, podcast message here, I encourage you to come back, look in the description area, or even if you've been connected to me on Facebook, you've probably seen information about the blog post. Okay. We're going to repost the blog post link again. So those of you who did not have an opportunity you, you might not have had an opportunity to to check out the blog message. So we're going to give you that opportunity. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're going to give you the opportunity uh, to go and check out the blog message so that you can get it. It's also going to be added to the description area of this podcast episode. So be sure that you share it with other other men, other women whom you want to encourage to become more effective as well. And here's a little shameless plug. If you have not purchased your book, Leadership TKO, you definitely want to do so. You want to visit the main website, leadershiptko.com and order either from Amazon. We have a link for Amazon. Or if you want an autographed copy of the book, you want to click on that as well. Get that option so you can get an autographed copy. Okay. So (laughs) I do encourage you. Okay, I do encourage you uh, to make sure to make sure that you're you're getting plugged in as much as you can, because on Wednesdays, once again, we talk about leadership. We talk about leadership uh, and how it is that you can enhance yourself as leaders, as leaders. So once again, Remember, set your alarm so that you can be here. But we also focus on marketing. And so uh, on today, I've been sharing a little bit of uh, things on my timeline. And you probably will see it. Okay. You probably will see it. Let me go ahead. I want to go and actually review some of the little nuggets that I shared. I'm going to review some nuggets. And one way to kind of market yourself, let me tell you this, is that if you take, think about strategies that is going to allow you to take massive action. This is why we're always pushing uh, and encouraging, okay, educationally encouraging. (laughs) Uh, Those of you who really want to take massive action and you want to be co-host, a part of the Leadership TKO station, we always put a little plug in there and let you know, we always welcome leaders who want to take action and become co-hosts to inquire about it. This is a great way to get your brand out there, to build your list, Uh, to generate a loyal following because we have followers from all around the world. Those of you listening in, we have people from Germany, from Italy, from France, from Norway, from Hungary, 
from South Africa, from Pakistan, the Republic of Korea, Croatia, and other places around the world who listen in to this station. Okay, who listen in to this station. And so we encourage you, we encourage you to get plugged in. Uh, And if you're serious about getting your brand out there and partnering with us to build leaders through this station, we encourage you to inquire. Uh, You can definitely send me a message on Facebook. You can call our 800 number, which is 888-205-8834. And we will be glad to speak with you about being a co-host. Or, of course, you can contact us right here on the Spreaker platform. All right. Reach out to us. Let us know. Hey, I'm inquiring about being a co-host and we'll be more than happy to send you some information. But marketing via being a co-host on radio shows or radio stations is a great way to get your brand out there and to market your products and services. Uh, But one of the nuggets that we shared on the timeline, I, I shared that you must assess the needs of your target market every season, because isn't it true that seasons change. So if seasons change, then the needs of the people you serve will change. Let me say that one more time. Seasons change. We all things are constantly in a cycle where you move from one to the next to the next. When you drive, you're moving from one block to the next. When you when you get up in the in, in each day, You're moving from one activity to the next. Think about it. And for the needs of people, we move from one season, one one storm, one season of abundance and overflow into the next season. Perhaps a, a season of a valley where you have to overcome certain things in your life. Okay, so seasons change. There is a time and a season for all things. Of course, coming from Ecclesiastes in the Bible, for those of you spiritual scholars out there, Bible scholars. So just remember that. Remember that. Uh, So you definitely want to assess the need and you can definitely do this in various ways. You can do surveys. You can just post on your your Facebook wall and you'll probably get, I don't know, quite a few, (laughs) quite a few people who respond to your post, especially if you're actively involved uh, on your post there. Um, Just to kind of put a plug in there, since we're talking about leadership, what we've initiated uh, also is Epic Influencer Award, and we encourage you to vote. Vote for who you believe should be an Epic Influencer. You see, an Epic Influencer is someone who constantly or consistently moves men and women to take action and enhance themselves in a positive way. Uh, They're constantly positive, both on and offline, based on what you can see. He or she is positive with their words and actions more than 90% of the time. So we're posting about this every day. The last and the final time that we're going to post is probably Thursday morning, if that. Uh, But you're probably going to see an image with a little bit of an orange and blue badge. That's the post that's going to contain the link or the voting form where you can vote either for yourself or you can vote for someone else that you know um, whom you believe should be deemed or awarded epic influencer. Okay, and there is some information on the website there that's going to share with you what the benefits are for the person that's awarded as an epic influencer, what the requirements are, etc. So be sure to check that. Okay, check that, check that, check that. All right. Uh, So, yeah, you know, that's what you really want to do. Assess the needs of your market. And you also want to consider strategies that's going to allow you to take massive action. And so as I transition, I'm going to transition and talk about this one thing. And 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 that is reflective of the fact that, you know, women that I see, there are many women that I see that I'm connected to that take action. OK, uh, and and we're encouraging women to become great leaders and to, to really come together and declare boldly to the world that they're women and that they were born to lead. 
And we're doing this actually through a campaign. This is a global campaign. And many of you probably know about this campaign already. It's the Born to Lead Global Women's Leadership Campaign that was launched this year by myself and five other amazing women, uh, Remy Duye, Takara Steele, uh, Cheryl Harris Sutton, Shalia McDaniel, and Maricela Messner. We all came together. We have our own respective businesses, but we came together and we launched this campaign because we really have a heart to help other women to become, to become really great leaders. Okay. Great leaders. And so we encourage you to inquire to learn more about this campaign and how you can get plugged in. And as a matter of fact, in the description area of this episode today, uh, you're going to see information such as website links where you can go and visit and learn more. Now, two of those links that you're going to see is one link with more information, detailed information about the campaign, which is the born, which is the leadership TKO for women dot com website and then you're going to see the short little small url which is born to lead 2017.com now the short url um, that's really a questionnaire that allows you to get plugged in super fast and become a free member of the campaign you can become a free member so be sure to check out those links in the description area so that you can join the campaign and join the family now there are certain perks for being a member We have life skills mentorship, right, on Mondays. We have business and leadership training that's offered. We have a super huge support network, right, support network of women who genuinely want to see you succeed, okay, want to see you succeed and really carry out your purpose in the earth today. So we want you to get plugged in. Uh, There's other ways to upgrade your membership as well, like being a state ambassador. We have several ambassadors in place. um, and, And so we'll let you know more about that once you become a member of the campaign. So there you have it. We talked a lot today about becoming an effective leader. We spoke about marketing strategies, kind of giving you tips to to really take a massive action and the invitation to being a co-host on the Leadership TKO radio station. We also talked about the Born to Lead Global Women's Leadership Campaign. And so we invite you definitely to visit us and to be back here tomorrow night at 9 o'clock p.m. We have our TKO Global Reality Show taking place tomorrow. But tomorrow is also the day in which we serve speakers. Oh, yes, it's Pro Speaker Thursdays. Okay, so we're going to be sharing some tips and strategies at the beginning and at the end of the interview tomorrow as we're going to be interviewing Pastor Shermanda Ramsey. Okay, Pastor Shermanda Ramsey is who we're going to be interviewing on tomorrow night at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So again, thank you so much for all those of you listening in. Appreciate you much. Uh, But of course, you know what I'm about to say. Until tomorrow, I do encourage you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Thanks for listening to the Leadership TKO Podcast. To continue the conversation of how to take your leadership from good to great, visit www.leadershiptko.com.